What's up guys, it's Jordan Campobasso and I'm going to be showing you the Boker Quaken designed by Lucas Burnley. I got this for Christmas the other day, well yesterday. And you know, it's got thumbs up from me and my cousin. So starting off, the case is magnetic like all the uh, like most of the Boker cases. I know, well this is Boker Plus, I don't know about all the other cases. Starting off, the uh, star foam is cut to the shape of the knife it's very nice when you open this up it's just right there you know there's no papers that ruin the moment you just see the knife right away it's gorgeous so a lot of cases it's like say like maybe right here there'd be like a finger hole so I can actually like dig in with my thumb pick it out on this knife it's not so I, I mean I could just press the foam pull it up now you can see right there is a little slot now that's for the pocket clip so it's uh, really attention to detail for the uh, even just the case. It's nice. I never throw out any of my uh, knife cases, sheaths. They all, they just stay with me for some reason. All right, so let me close this guy. Yeah, one hand. It's a pain. Now, here's the quaking. So this is um it's a collaboration with Lucas Burnley and. Boker Plus. This is the um, on Blade HQ. The label is Boker Plus Quaken Titanium Flipper Folding Knife. It has VG10 uh, blade. And 3.5. Well, the blade length is 3.5 inches. It's stone washed. The mass. Uh, the like the retail price for the knife is $215. Blade HQ is 134. So that's um. It's a real bonus for me. You can probably find cheaper prices online, like maybe Amazon Blade HQ. I don't trust it. My cousin's a firm believer. He just always seems to find like the real knives. I don't know, but I'm I'm just a Blade HQ baby. So let's start off looking at you know the screws. You can see the handle. It's a. Uh, let's see if I can focus. I'm using an iPad right now. So it can't focus that good, but you can see how the handles, the screws are under the titanium. So it's milled out, but the titanium, it's not flush, it's a little bit under. So your screws won't get scratched up, they're not going to look nasty. Except for your pivot screw, that is pushing out a little bit. It's not too bad, you know, you're not really, it's not a big difference, it's not like the elephant in the living room. You're going to have your stainless steel clip uh, milled out in the center skeletonized I should say fairly short Let's see if we can hear it great great attention we have two screws holding it together you see curves up a little bit then curves down greatly very nice it ho even though it's really short it does hold well it's very efficient. You have your lanyard hole. Let's go for your stainless steel liners. So the, this is a uh, it's a liner lock. The way it's milled out, it reminds me of a frame lock. And these are actually really thick. So I'm going to pull out my uh, my Yen Zanzo uh, flipping folding knife. I think it's like the folding flipper. I don't know. It's It's not even like... Like, not like a cool name like the Quake, and it's just legit flipping folder. So, you can see. Alright, so let me actually open up these knives. This doesn't have bearings, and it's just a little stud. So, opening it, you need practice. Get this box out of the way. Now, the IKBS bearings. First, the first knife I've ever had with bearings, I'd have to say I love it. Love it to death, actually. Let's put this on this side. I don't know, OCD. You can see those liners that the Quaken is just a lot thicker, overbuilt than the Yen Zanzo. It's just a piece of wood that's titanium. And it's just really nice looking to me. It's even melds out a little bit. Let's try to get my finger in the camera first of all. There we go. So it's milled out right here a little bit to get that curve in. Unlike these little flimsy liners. 
So this is, I wouldn't say overbuilt, but since it's like so slim and so small that what it has is super exceptional. It's very, it's easy working. So let's uh, close up this guy. Yeah, I put a mirror uh, on a lot of my knives, like my Spyderco, I put a mirror polish, it's somewhat mirror. Um, you know, let's see if I can get that a little bit better. Yeah, so it looks, and you can still see the logo on it, the Fox Knives, Miniago, Italy. A little nice. Second favorite, gentleman. That's more of an EDC to me. This is more of a gentleman. Right, so get a good look at the liners. Bangles in the nice. So the liners are fairly thick. They're almost as thick as the, uh, I think a little bit thicker than the titanium, actually. So the titanium is contoured, a little bit rounded in the middle. You can see the titanium backspacer. Super nice. Uh, this backspacer and the scales are gray. Like a, a bead blast finish almost. You see the VG10 blade. Now this is my first VG10. Um, I've had five bokers. Sharpest one I've ever had so far. Hair popping sharp. Um, you know, cuts through newspaper. I don't feel any nicks. This, this is the factory edge. No nicks, nothing. Now, let me see if... So online, it's not going to tell you the Rockwell on Blade HQ. So it is hollow ground. A lot of knives, if it's a deep hollow ground, you'll feel it. It's more like a little bit of a shallow. It's very nice. The bevels are really, um, the geometry is really nice. Gets you razor sharp edge, but on both sides, they're somewhat even. Because some bevels are longer on one side, shorter on the other. And these ones are just, they're pretty, the geometry's spot on, I'd have to say. Then the tip. So on a lot of knives, like, there we go, this is a good camera. So a lot of knives on the milling, if there's not enough lubricant going in, you will see, you know, the tip to change color, like a straw color. Almost like someone tried to anodize. This is not the case on this bevel. Fair, fairly sharp. Super sharp, I'd have to say. It's really nice. Let's focus on that. Let's see if I can get there. No breaking. It's really cute. And I also have the Obaki designed by Lucas Brunley with CRKT to show you because once I saw the Quake in, I found out that uh, Lucas Brunley had a fixed blade. I saw the fixed blade before. And I searched up like custom fixed blades, you know, oriental design. That guy popped up and I didn't think much of it for the custom like Obaki. I don't really know the name. Fixed blade Quaken. I don't know. But I once it came out, I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. So I waited a good it was out of stock real quick. So I had to um wait a while until I went to Maine at a trading post and they had it. I waited another month, got enough money, because I wasn't working at the time, and I went up there, good two hour drive, and then picked it up. So that was, so really, walking home, well, I mean, phew, driving home, I just couldn't stop staring at it. So, yep, show you both screws, I covered the blade now. The slight swedge, I find that real nice, especially when the knife is closed. You're going to see there's a stone wash on this blade, which is really nice. I love the stone. It's very faint. It's adds. It's like a grayish color, almost to match the titanium. Really like that. On the uh, Let's go for the detent and center. Oh, uh, one big factor that the uh, Quaken has is the flipper. Let's talk about this. A lot of people say that the curve should be up top to catch onto your finger when you bring it down. It's more of a button. I'm a righty, so let's try with a lefty. Like I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit out of my zone, but you can tell that. The, uh, sorry, open it one more time. There we go. It's more of a button to push. Like you wanna push it, then bring down. So 
just like that. And it flies open. The IKBS is smooth. But when the lock hits, it's not loud. I've heard some pretty loud knives. So let's go with so a few knives to show. So even this guy. Flip him. You can tell it's a lot louder. It has like a hollow sound to it almost. So then, yeah, mind my mom in the background. So then, very faint, very silent. But I don't mind the, uh, f the, like, the flipper at all. Do not. So let's look at the centering. Oop. Let's check out that centering. Get close. Put it on focus. So, you can tell it's a little bit off. I don't mind at all. I mean, I've had some knives that are pretty messed up. So, so it's, it's really nice. So, you can tell how the blade is just perfectly fitted into the, um, into the handle. Oops, sorry. Just super flush. Slim. This is a, I love, the, like, looking down at it. You can just see all these, like, the geometry of what's inside. You can see the swedge. I love the swedge. It's a really nice ad. I don't think you'd ever need it. It's just more of that aesthetic look. And the clip. And the model number is 0383. Very nice. So let's say, uh, so the flipper, sorry, I've got sidetracked. So first it was a thumb disc. Yeah, I think the main one was a thumb disc. And a lot of people couldn't get to it. Trying to go in. And then, so what they did is the they made a, a little bit of a contour right uh, right here, curved it in a little bit, and then had a, and it was still a thumb disc, so they could go in and get the knife out. But that didn't work out. So people decided, since it was IKBS, they cut out the corner of the handle so that there was like a little triangle, and you could flip the knife that way. So then, it acted like a flipper. So then, <coughs> excuse me, Boker Plus decided to uh, make that little um, that little modification into mass production. So uh, like again, excuse my mother. So once they did that, it was okay. It was more of a um, how would I say? Uh, it, it wasn't really. It was premium. That's what it was. It was a little bit more expensive. Eh. So, they um, they decided to put in the flipper. I love the flipper. It makes the knife look amazing. They even have that little notch off, which is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, the Quaken is just wonderful. So then, yeah, that's about it. Oh, actually, I want to show you the Obaki. Let me show you with the sheath before I pull it off. Another Lucas Burnley design. Now this is with CRKT. This is their collab. You have the uh, the in, the it's the cord wrap that's impregnated with a uh, I think it's like epoxy epoxy impregnated cord wrap whatever. And then the faux ray skin inside. So I'm trying to collect the whole set. I'm a little bit of a groupie. If you see that ray skin. Really nice. This isn't Kydex. This is a molded plastic. Have some uh, openings for straps. A lot for cording. I'll pull this off. <laughs> See, I used it a little bit. Cut through some paint. So then, it looks. I mean, very reminiscent of the Quaken. Get me wrong at all. So, uh, you can see the blade style. They're both, like, uh, upswept. So, and I love the upswept. It's more oriental, Asian design, like Tonto, Katana. Really nice. So then, yeah, no lanyard hole. CRKT, Boca Plus. Lucas Burnley is really putting out some great stuff. A lot of people say the Quake it like, uh, uh, nothing fancy. Really good guy. I always watch his videos. You know, I have my FID, firearms identification. I'm only 16. And, you know, his review, like, on the, I think it was the Marlin XT-22, uh, I don't know if it was a bolt action. I forget, but 
Like, I looked into that rifle. He's really helpful with guns. Knives go to him. Jim Skelton, he gets really deep into knives. I'll give him that. He's, uh... If you like him on Instagram, he's pretty funny. On his, uh, photos. Him and, uh, Tough Thumbs going at it. Uh, yeah, so... That's about it on the Quake. And if, uh, if you want to like, subscribe, follow, that'd be awesome. Comment me on, a. You know, anything I did wrong, I like that. I don't mind trolls, because sometimes it helps. Sorry, I, uh, I'm getting a call from Skype. Let me, uh, my B. <laughs> That's always the most annoying when you're trying to do a video. Let me just go offline. So, yeah, um, you know, don't feel bad if you want to criticize or anything. Tell me how I did. If you liked it, you know, thumbs up, like it. I don't care because, I mean, I do care. This is my, I think I'm on my 30th video now. But most of it was when I was younger doing reptiles. Now I'm, like, I used to do Gerber videos. Ugh, man. Cheap stuff. But now I'm getting more. Oh, so, yeah, let me show you that. The Burnley and IKBS. VG10 in the corner. And then, yeah, here we go. But yeah, definitely, just do whatever you want, feel free, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next video, peace.